Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, my name is Esther Mofri. Today is on a Monday. Like I said, every Monday we'll be doing a free signal. So if you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Every Monday, there's always a free signal, a free setup. Every Tuesday, I'll be doing a trade psychology video. Wednesday, we are doing back testing. Thursday, of course, it is encouragement, word of God telling you why I think Forex is spiritual and Friday it's of course a vlog and Saturday weekly analysis. So if all is all that makes sense to you, make sure you hit that bell, subscribe to this channel and let's get you to it. So our free signal today is coming from GBP card. I want us to analyze GBP card and I think why I think um, it is a good trade to take this Monday. So I'll start, of course, with monthly time frame because you need to do top-down analysis to really understand what is happening. So GBP card on higher time frame, GBP card on a higher time frame, we have a ranging market. So this is a ranging market. So that is a ranging market. If you have seen that, if you have been trading, of course, you have spotted that ranging market. And I want us to count the distance because I want to see, did they finish that distance? Because the ranging market has been broken. So that's what we have. We have a market that has not completed that distance. But what you can notice is that the first TP was hit. TP1 was hit. TP2 is not yet hit. So we have that pattern in monthly, on monthly time frame. So there's that channel break. The market went to TP1, uh, reacted, and you can see the market is reacting. And you don't know if the retracement is done. Now we want to continue going down. Two things can happen. The market can either go down, create a double bottom, and then go up. So two things can happen. It can create a double bottom, then go up, or it can go down and hit TP2 like that. So in this case, the market, if it goes down, we don't know if the, the market will go to TP2 or will go to TP1, make a double bottom. So that's what we have for now. On monthly time frame, you can see the, the rejection candles, and then you have an indecision candle. So last month, Jan, the market didn't, we didn't have a clear indication what GBP card was to do. Does it want to sell? Does it want to buy? These are very, very uh, not good candle to be involved in this market, more so if you're looking at higher time frame. On weekly time frame, let's see what we have. So I will delete everything so that you can start afresh on weekly time frame. Guys, I don't know if you can see this one candle resistance. We have that one candle resistance. That is it. So that one candle resistance, I'll just put a zone there. And you can see our market was activated. Our double top was activated. And then with that one candle resistance, so on weekly time frame, the market is selling. So on weekly time frame, the market is on a sell. And you want to see, has it given a go ahead of this sell? So if we measure half, that is the half guys, and that half, we put it color green. So you can see that on our double top, the market gave us a BWA or a, an evening star, and the market has been like formed a range. And the market surely will go to which level? The market will go to half. So from the, from the half, from where the market is to the half is 920 pips. So you can see that the market broke a zone here, very clear, they broke a zone. I see there's a break of structure and this market head, it's like it was, what can I say? Like it was a, a ranging. So if at all we want to get on this sale because the sell is evident enough. Once the market broke is evident enough, it will go to half. Let's go to daily to see more clearly on that ranging. This is the ranging we have. I really love ranging markets because they are easier to trade. So we will just measure the distance of that ranging. 
remember we have two options. I have the option of targeting half or the option of the ranging. So if I get the ranging like that, if that is the ranging that I have, the distance is a bit high than the, the green one. So what I'll do, the first take profit of the ranging is there. So I have identified half of the ranging. So I have two halves and I'll put a blue color. So I have the half, the normal half of the double top of weekly and the half of the ranging. So if you're getting into this trade, you can see we got a WBB kind of it, like sellers have shown they are ready to sell in that market. So this is a ready trade that you can sell if you're watching this video. So that's a WBB. So you can sell. So if you put two trades, one trade, the take profit of the first trade will be at that previous support. You see, there's a support here. We can't ignore that support. So that is the first take profit will be at 6,200. So you can put at 6,200, guys. Make sure you, you get that take profit, take profit one. If you enter this trade, take profit one, let it be at 6,200 because I will not give you update on this trade. Once you enter this trade, don't come on my inbox. Guys, if you enter on this trade, don't come on my inbox because I've given you everything. At the, oh, do I close? Do I do this? So first the profit is 6,200 and the market is at 63. That's 100 pips, guys. The second stake profit is at 6,100. So we have 6,100 and 6,200. So if you want to hold the trade, you can have two trades, take profit one at 62, take profit two at 100. So we have like that, 6,100. So yeah, so you have that. And remember this market can continue going down because it's a swing trade. The other one will be at 57 and the half will target up to the half. So those are the take profit. You can see that is a long-term trade. So if you trade it in bits, you are good. If you trade this market in bits, you are good. From there, uh, 100 pips from 6,300, from where the market is to 6,200, 100 pips. If you put two trades, you can get these trades at 200. So the last take profit is at 6,100. For you to re-enter, if you want to re-enter, they need to break that. They need to break here if you want to re-enter this trade. So pay, pay attention, even if it's a long trade, for you to re-enter, they need to break 67.7. And breaking, I mean, once the TP is hit the second one, for you to re-enter, you need to see this in your chart. So kindly don't ask me because I won't answer you. If you ask me on WhatsApp, you message me, oh, do I close, do I open? I only talk with VIP. If you're, on, if you're not a VIP, don't ask me questions on free signal. Only on VIP signal that I assure students, I assure the VIP members, they need to hold, they need to do this only on VIP. So guys, this is our free trade. If you want to, to sell right now, you can sell. Actually, you'll be given at a good price. You'll be given at 6,300. The first TP I'm repeating is 6,200. The second TP is at 6,100. So the second TP is at 6,100. So guys, what you need to understand is that, why are we selling? Because that's the most asked question. Why are we selling GBP card? Number one, it has a double top on weekly that has been confirmed. Number two, it has a ranging channel on daily that has been confirmed. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope this will be a good trade. Let's revisit Euro JPY, the trade I gave it. I gave this trade um, last time. So we did Euro JPY. Like I told people to buy Euro JPY and still the market is buying. What I don't, what I can tell you, if you're on this trade kindly, you should be out of this trade. Why? Because already on four hour, we might have a double top. You can see this is a double top. The reason why I told people to come out of this trade, if you watched the last, uh, the last signal, it was on Euro JPY. And I told people to come out. 
because of the news. And people made money because they, they, I told people to come out with this candle at 143, I think around 40. And you can see what was created. The market on four hour created a channel, broke, went to half. What makes you think that the market won't come all the way down here? What makes you think the market will not come down? Before now making a double bottom, and now, now we can think of buying. So unless the market is on this zone, or I, I'm not ex uh, expecting to buy. So if you're holding your buyers, kindly come out, this market might go down. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope this was enjoyable. GBP card is a sell. See you next time. Bye-bye. Love you.